Mason Beckman, you are not close to Pennsylvania. <laughs> you are closer to Indiana. What's going on here at Jordan's? Uh, you know, I was a Jeff Jordan camp kid for a long time, and one of the years, actually, Coach Lang wrote the wrong week on my paper. I came out here a couple weeks early, and they were short staffed. Started working then, and you know I've done this as some summer fun, some summer money ever since. So a clerical error essentially made you a counselor at one point in your life. Yeah. So when you got here and you're like, they were like, oh yeah, you, you're, we don't have anyone for you to wrestle. The alternative was driving like four and a half hours back home. Yeah, I walked in and it was actually the big guy hammer camp. So I'm walking in, and uh, my aunt who lives in Columbus, she was the one who brought me out. And I'm walking around, you know, kids that are 189 and above, like this can't possibly be right. So, you know, we walked inside, and Coach Langley goes, I think you're not. He goes, I think you're at the wrong week. And we looked at it, I handed my form, we got it all figured out. You know, he gave a couple people a call. And like I said, they were short staffed over at the old house. And I actually worked with uh, Blake Castle, who just let, you know, just walked out. So, <sighs> worked out, man. All right, uh, started out the season at 125, had to bump up to 133. Will you be at 133 again this year? Yeah, I'll be 33 the rest of the way. Um, Standing here right now, I'm probably about 45. Um, I've definitely got room to grow within 33. You know, I feel light years better than I did at 25. Um, and, you know, just as a team moving forward, we're all excited. You know, everybody's kind of settling in. we got a huge freshman class coming in. We're just excited to move forward. All right. So, uh, two and two at the NCAAs? One and two. One and two. Uh, Haran put you out. Yeah. Is that is that a rough point for you because you're both Pennsylvania State champs? He's a four-time finalist, but is that something that, that, what, that stuck with you bad? Oh uh, yeah, it absolutely sticks with you. Um, anytime you end the season, and even at Easterns, you know, I ended f up fourth, lost to Keith, and like a 10, 11 minute match for third and fourth. Um, you know, anytime you end the season short of where you wanted to be, short of the All America podium, short of you know the finals and winning everything else, obviously you're disappointed. But you know, losing to Haran, who I beat twice during the year, you know, I, they were both, all three matches were really tight. Um, you know, I understand how good he is, how good we could both be. But, you know, yeah, it's absolutely frustrating. And especially the main part was I just wasn't attacking late in the year. Um, I really locked up. I started to shut down. It was to the point, like, that Keith match I mentioned or against Haran, I don't know that I took a shot in either of them. Just, you know, nerves and things. I started trying wrestling not to lose instead of wrestling to win, and that's been the biggest focus since the season ended. What do you do to, you know, to wrestle to win? What do you change in your life? What do you have to change to, to start to wrestle to win? Um, just attack, man. Uh, that's the biggest thing with Coach Santoro, Coach Dillon, Coach Hughes. It's to the point in practice that they'll literally just stand beside me, stand behind me, and they'll be yelling, you know, keep shooting, keep shooting, we'll go, you know, 30 minute goes, whatever, it goes like this tonight. They'll call me every night, you know, just take, you know, taking shots today, shooting high crotch, it's not just singles. Um, you know, go attacking for turns on top. Don't worry about time, just worry about scoring points and making yourself better every day. Um, and whether that's lifting, running, wrestling, eating right, you know, just make yourself better in every way that you can. Do you like coming and, and wrestling and getting to scrap with high school kids still? Oh uh, yeah, I love you know getting to kind of give back. You know, see kids in the same position I was a few years ago. Kind of pass stories, pass knowledge on that maybe I wish I had had at the time, or just you know sit there and pick kids up and say, hey, believe me, I understand. I've been there. I remember you know sitting over at the office, no lie, in a corner of that room after one of the live sessions, just down on myself as could be. You know, I think it was actually Logan Steber you know, walked over, kind of hit me on the head and said, hey, come on. And, you know, having a guy that has been right there really helps. So, you know, being able to give back to these kids and help Coach Jordan and everybody out, it really feels good. Are you got anything else for me? Not much, man. Just go Lehigh. Um, you know, anybody that's looking for schools, come check Bethlehem out. Thanks to Flo Wrestling. You guys are doing great things. And thanks to Coach Jordan for giving this opportunity.